chapter 1 the earth and the catechism in this video we will learn about the earth and the various factors association with earth in the previous year we have learned earth is made up of two factors first is water and next land water all the seas ocean rivers areas covered with water will come under the water section whereas all the amount of countries continents huge amount of land are termed as continents the earth is made up of two factors land and water division of earth the two factors water and land land means continents continent means huge piece of land is called as continents in the water section there are five important oceans first is arctic ocean pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean and southern ocean when we learn about land means all seven continents north america south america europe asia australia atlantica and africa that means earth is divided into two important parts water and land when i say about water that means various ocean seas rivers on the earth and land means continents and on the continents we have various countries let us learn about the physical appearance of the earth the size of the earth all of us know the shape of the earth is oval shape oval shape is just like a shape of an egg let us learn the shape and the size of the earth from north pole to south pole similarly from west to east the distance of the earth from north pole to south pole is 1000 12,714 kilometers. Similarly, the distance of the earth from west to east is 12,756 kilometers. In this diagram, you will learn that the distance from west to east is more as compared to distance from north to south. And that is the reason the shape of the earth is oval because the distance from west to east is more as compared to distance from north pole to south pole. Now all of us have seen a globe. Obviously, when you learn a geography lesson in your school classroom, the teacher cannot get the entire earth in the class. Is it possible? Obviously not. And for that reason, to show you all earth, how the earth looks like, the various co countries and continents on the earth, there is something called as a globe is made. A globe means a miniature model of the earth. Miniature means a small model. Model means shape, design. A small design made up of earth is called as a globe. Globe is an exactly a miniature or smaller object of the earth from the outer side. Through the globe, we understand, we learned the appearance, how the earth looks like. That is called as a globe. Let us learn about the angular distance of the earth. All of us know, equator divides the earth into two equal parts. Equator is a small line, imaginary line, that passes through the center of the earth. All the distance on the earth are measured from equator because it is the center of the earth. Equator becomes the center line that divides the earth into two equal parts. All the angles on the earth are measured with respect to the equator. You will see in the picture there are a lot of longitudes and latitudes on the earth, that is standing lines and stepping lines. You can realize this picture has a net kind of thing, that is latitudes and longitudes drawn on the earth. 
all the angles on the earth are being measured from the equator that is called as the angular distance on the equator you must have seen you must have used protector in your maths class if you place the protector on this particular diagram you will realize that equator it has a zero degree on the earth as we go upwards, you will realize that each degree goes on increasing and by the time we reach the north pole upwards, that is when the 90 degree comes on the protector. That is, the north pole and the equator are perpendicular in line. They form a right angle. Similarly, it happens in the south. If you place your protector on the equator downwards and go downwards, you will realize that when we come to the 90 degree, and that is where the south pole is. That is called as the angular distance from the equator, from the center towards the north pole and the south pole. Let us summarize what we have learned. In this video, we learned about two parts of earth, water and land. Water means all the water bodies on the earth, for example, rivers, seas, oceans, etc. And when we talk about land, that is the seven continents we have learned. We have learned the various oceans on the earth, and we also learn about the distance of the earth from north to south and from east to west. The next part of the lesson will be explained in the next video.